And I seen the light leave out of her eyes. Painful memories. The grandmother of Ayanna Jones testifies about the Detroit police raid that took her granddaughter's life. The officer on trial for involuntary manslaughter has claimed Martella Jones caused him to fire his own weapon, but she tells a very different story. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig spent today in court. Prior to Ayanna Jones being shot, did you grab an officer's gun? No, I did. Martilla Jones was laying on the couch with her seven year old granddaughter, Ayanna, the night Detroit police raided her home looking for a murder suspect. Ayanna was sleeping with her head just a couple of feet away from the front door. Martilla Jones was on the far side of the couch and she claimed she never grabbed or even hit Officer Weekly's gun. The highly trained cop claims it was Martilla Jones who caused him to accidentally pull the trigger. Prosecutors call it pure negligence. Did you do anything to interfere with the police trying to execute that search warrant? No, I did not. Eventually, did you talk to Officer Weekly? I went over to him. We didn't talk. I just told him uh, everything was going to be okay. That was about it. Officer Larry Davis is also a member of Detroit's special response team and talked to Officer Weekly after the deadly shooting. What did he say? Someone grabbed his weapon and it went off. Did he say grabbed? Yes. Did he say that someone pulled his weapon? I can't recall his actual words. In this video of police questioning Martilla Jones the night of the shooting, she denies even lunging toward Officer Weekly. I said, what am I being charged with? Why am I here? And they said, for lunging at a police officer's weapon. Okay. And all the police that was in my house, they just shot the hell out of me. Martilla Jones then welcomes police to test for her DNA on Weekly's gun. What I'm going to ask from you, is what we're going to do with that gun is we're going to fingerprint the gun and we're going to test it for DNA, right. okay? And what they want for them to even test it for DNA would be a sample from you. Is this okay? See, man, see how we work? And we could soon hear from an expert in DNA analysis. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.